Hey guys, how you doing? I'm gonna be doing a reading here for the um, full moon energy. Just wanted to pull a pull some cards out, see see what's going on. Um, I'm still gonna be doing the Sunday um, collective as well, so just kind of a bonus and see what everyone's feeling like here. Let's see what's going on for the collective full moon in Aries reading here. We have the nine of swords. We get the surrounding cards here. Okay, we do have the sun, Leo energy here. We do have the devil, Capricorn energy. The six of pentacles. You have the three of cups. Now, recently, I mean, if you've listened to the recent postings here, you know, a lot of the energy is has been involving. You know, people around you, groups, relationships, whatever it is here. And I feel like that a lot of you guys have been, you know, just noticing things have changed or maybe, you know, someone that you've talked to for quite some time, you know, the energy hasn't been the same or maybe just the environment that you're in hasn't been the same. You know, if the work environment used to go smooth, things have changed. You know, maybe, you, you know, there's been changes at work. I mean, there's just a lot of changes. And I feel like that Nine of Swords being the center of your reading here, there is some sort of... Um, I pick up anxiety, okay? So I do pick up anxiety and worry about what the next steps are. You know what I mean? Like there's there's a sense of planning going on. Maybe you're looking at um, your finances as well. With that Six of Pentacles. We have the Two of Wands here. One more card here for the Collective. We have the Three of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. You have the Empress here. It doesn't matter the gender. Bottom of the deck, we do have the Knight of Wands. All right, so again... Nine of Swords, starting off your reading here, and then we have the surrounding energy on this side with the sun, the three of cups, and the devil. Now I do pick up, you know, these are all intuitive readings here, then I pick up the sun kind of more in the reverse setting, but also in the upright, in a way. So the way I'll explain it is, I feel as though a lot of you guys have felt in the recent past, or, um, you know, just an energy of being very optimistic, and, and things were going to happen, things were going to uh, work out for you. There's a lot of like, um, um, you know, just positive thinking in regards to, you know, just things around you working out. Uh, you know, maybe you're hoping someone was going to, you know, a new connection, um, whatever it is here, there was, there was, there was happiness. Okay. But also at the same time with the devil right next to it and the three of cups, it's like, I feel like it just doesn't matter the Zodiac. I think just the energies of us looking at our current situations have really, um, you know, a lot of emotions surfaced up here, right? So this could be past situations, current situations. Maybe there's a realization of like, you know, people around us, are they supporting us uh, or are they putting us down? You know, um, you know, I, I feel as though a lot of us have been starting to see through that energy, that devil energy here to see who's been toxic around. And also it's self-reflection because you're looking at yourself to seeing, because it's always like you can't really blame everyone, right? You have to take accountability for at some point here and say, you know what, maybe I have to look at myself. And maybe that is addictive things. Maybe you're drinking, smoking. And again, I don't judge. Do what you want to do, right? But I will say this, you know, if it becomes a situation where you feel like it's consuming you, to where it's disconnecting you from friends, then, you know, that is a caution, right? So that's all I'm saying, you know, I mean, it's just one of those things here that shows, because you have that Nine of Swords energy, and that Nine of Swords energy is a very, you know, it's it's a deep energy to where you feel like, you know, I feel like I picked this up on, on the collective on the last one, but it's like you, you, everyone's against you in some way when, when it's really not, you know what I mean? So just kind of be mindful of that. Um, now this Empress is sitting down here, you know, I do pick up an energy of, of coming into your power, but at the same time, there's a sense of like worry and, and not, and kind of losing confidence in a way. Okay. So maybe you've been going towards something, working on something, but then you start to realize like, you know what, is this right? You know, should I do this? Should I do that? You know, the energy is really like back and forth. And that's kind of how the energies are going to be right now, because there's going to be a lot of questions. Things are not going to be as straightforward as they used to be, you know? And a lot of us need to start using, uh, you know, our intuition, kind of seeing what we're getting ourselves into. Maybe we we started talking to people in the retrograde, and then all of a sudden they disappeared. You know, they don't want to talk anymore. So that's the energy that I'm seeing here. It's like things are changing, but with this full moon energy, it's also an energy of, um, you know, emotions also comes up, and then also it's like, releasing it right so 
it's forcing us to actually deal with it. And that kind of sucks too, right? Because we don't want to, we kind of want things to just move away silently and never see it again. But unfortunately, there's an energy here that's saying you can't really do that. And, and, and I feel like the caution here when I went back on the smoking, drinking, whatever, I'm just using that as an example, guys. Uh, you know, it, it, there's a caution about not to numb yourself with, with things that are harmful for you, okay? Because you're not going to heal. It's, it's a very difficult thing. Now, can I say here and, you know, you know, in the past when I was going through something that, uh, you know, I avoided it at all costs. No, I mean, I would, I'm going to go drink. You know what I mean? I mean, that's, that's, I'm, I'm not going to sit here. You guys know me long enough here. Whoever has been subscribed that I'm not going to BS you. Um, it is a difficult thing. It's in the energy here. Um, but it's something I feel as though you can work on. You know what I mean? And I think that's that star here. It's a healing um, energy that not only do you put yourself in a situation where there's, people helping you or, you know, equal give and take, you know, maybe you're giving your energy here to people, but, you know, they're, they haven't been giving you that in the past. It feels like the future energy here is you're going to be meeting new connections here, but also I feel like they're healing energies. So you're putting yourself in better connections in, in a way. It, it, it could be like creating your own soul tribe. Maybe you don't see that now with that nine of swords over here, but eventually it's, it's getting to a place to where you are going to find people here that um yeah just they just vibrate at your level you know they understand you in some way and, and vice versa okay um present energy again this is like decision making shadow work working on yourself here um worry uh past energy here you can see that the sun the three of cups and the empress it's like you're definitely working on yourself but it's like, you know, just a hiccup, a little curveball here is what I'm seeing in the energy. Um, so good news is, though, I mean, I do see future energy, six of pentacles with the star and a three of wands. So there is a shift of energy to see, like, you know, researching what else is out there, focusing on uh, new things for yourself. This could be learning new, new stuff, uh, new hobbies. Um, trying something new, um, you know, again, Knight of Wands underneath the deck here, this is a sense of you um, being adventurous a little bit, being a little bit um, in this energy of having a little bit of fun, trying to, I, 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 I you know, I refrain from saying stuff like that because, you know, just if you really think about it, what's going on these days, it's, it's hard to say that, right? But, um, but I feel like, you know, just... If, if there's anything I can share with you guys, I mean, when I was going through something years ago, um, one thing that I, I'm not saying this is what you need to do. I'm just saying that one thing I did was I got myself off of social media. I just kill, kill social media. I was done, you know? So I, I got off the Instagram stuff. I got off, you know, and I don't even think TikTok was, was even being used or there at the time, but um, I, that was the best thing I did. I mean, I really focused myself on the spiritual growth and and I focused on listening to uh, like I guess if you listen to my how I got into tarot I would watch tarot readers and and seeing what the energy is like and especially the astrology part of it and I feel like that helped me spiritually kind of uh grow inside but at the same time it got me away from things that was stressing me out you know it was just kind of like you didn't have, I, I stayed away from the news um Believe it or not, I was a very hardcore football fan, all right? I watched every, all the games almost of my team. But, you know, this experience made me disconnect from all that stuff. Not saying you get to disconnect because I watch football now, but I'm just saying that it helped get out of this situation. So I feel like whoever this this resonates with here, that maybe you could look at this. Just just saying, this is just, just trying to put that out there, is that if you did try to see what puts you in this nine of swords energy this weariness of of you know what this future looks like for you um i feel like maybe that's something you need to um you know just pull yourself away from that in some way not not get too obsessed in a in a certain subject or you know obsessing over a certain thing to happen you know whatever it is here um it, it's pulling yourself away from these energies that are trying to make you stressed and worried and bring this anxiety and all this stuff to wonder what the F is going to happen. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's what's going on here. It's like, be mindful uh, about how you're thinking and you kind of have to use your intuition pretty, pretty big here. All right, guys. I mean, it's like, you know, don't get caught up with stuff here because it's going to, it's going to affect you 
quite quite heavily for for some people. I'm trying to really say it in a way here that um, you know people don't flip out. But I mean, like it's it's just I get I feel like you you kind of understand what I'm trying to say. It's it's really this is kind of why we say you know get out there, go for a walk, get in nature. Uh, because it's like disconnecting yourself from all the other stuff, you know what I mean? So find a way to disconnect yourself. And and I feel like you're already disconnected. That's why you're looking at all these people like, I don't know, I don't really, I don't really get along with most of you guys. But, you know, and it's like, but also you have to disconnect from other things for a little bit and, and really uh, get into a place here where you could, um, you know, clear your mind, you know, just, just kind of do something here where you can think about what you really want and and even if you're not sitting over there let's just say you know imagine yourself at the beach here you know you're just sitting over there you, you got the chair you, you're chilling there's no one at the beach and, and the waves are coming in it's a nice sunny afternoon uh type of day here and and you're thinking and that's it you, you're not really thinking specifically what plan you're going to do tomorrow you're just sitting there you know and sometimes that's the best thing is because you're clearing out that crap all that other stuff that has been going on in the world and you know what's been going on in your home life in your in your work life you have to like let that you have to tune away from that sometimes and that's going to help you with this nine of swords energy so i hope that makes sense i hope it helps in any way now i know a lot of you guys are don't you know you just have to find a place to to really do that and if it if it is putting a headset on and you know or you know getting on youtube and and just watching like nature videos and people going camping and i mean there's a lot of van life um Sometimes I like to watch uh, Van City, Chrome from Van City. You know, he does some stuff that's uh, pretty cool. Learn something new. Um, you know, just, you know, and then you have like, uh, I like to watch fishing. So I got Outdoor Chef Life and all them and Fisherman's Life. And those guys, are they're doing stuff that you can learn something new. And it tunes you out just from the other crap is what I'm trying to say. And sometimes when you tune out from other stuff and you start learning something new, then all of a sudden it's like, oh. I, I kind of know what I need to take care of. It's funny how that works, but that's the way it goes. And then I can see the Empress with the Nine of Swords and that Six of Pentacles. It's like you are, you know your value. You know who you are here. Male or female, doesn't matter. It's just you're moving away into more better connections that are equal give and take for you. And then you have the Three of Cups. Again, this is like crossing paths towards um, you know, wish fulfillment and doing things that you like to do. The three of wands down here, making that decision to move on to your own path and stop waiting for your ships to come and stop waiting for things to come in and start creating stuff for yourself is what I'm getting here. But at the same time that goes back in the Knight of wands, it's like, have fun. Don't, don't weigh yourself and worry. And, and cause you're going to be starting to manifest stuff like that. You have to, you have to have this energy of, um, thinking positive and I know that does piss people off when I say that because sometimes when you're in this energy the last thing you want to hear um and no offense to anyone that's doing motivational videos and stuff like that but the last thing you want to hear at this stage is like a motivational person because it's like uh, you know at that point it's like it doesn't help like I used to listen to a lot of motivational stuff before you know my my awakening um and then when I was going through the awakening I cut it off for more than a year I was done with it I didn't want to hear that because I'm like, you know, I was going through so much deep stuff that, you know, it's like that's the last thing you want. But I, I feel like if in my experience can help anybody, a lot of it is because I tuned away from, I didn't care what was on Instagram. I didn't care for anything like that. I just did my thing and um, and just listened to things here that will help me that I was learning. You know, I was learning stuff, right? So, um, and then I had I had my coworkers to update me with whatever news was coming in anyway. So um, let me just clarify this devil here for you guys. Um, I don't know. I keep rambling. I don't know if these videos actually help you, but let me know in the comments or hit the like. Um, yeah, Ten of Swords here. This is just, you know, you have the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords with the devil here. This is, it's a heavy energy. I, I can't, you know, BS that. I mean, that's... You know, it is an awakening energy, and I've been picking that up quite a bit lately. This is why I wanted to start that Sunday collective reading for everyone. Um, and I feel like just the past week, you know, into this weekend, into next week, it's going to be this energy of clearing things. And there's going to be a lot of ups and downs. There's going to be some days that are good, some hours that are good. And, you know, maybe you wake up in the morning and things are going well, and then all of a sudden nighttime shit hits the fan again, you know. But that's the way this, this healing process is going to go. But... You can see in the future here, the future energy you're getting out of this, okay? So you have to think positive, and you, you are the empress. You are someone here that can, uh, you know, create 
things here. You have ideas. It's just about trying to get out of the stuck you know, energies and people that have been holding you back and toxicities around you here. And and again, that could be, I use you know, social media as an example, but I'm just, that could be people around you. It could be work environments and stuff like that too, right? But um, if it is a work environment, it's not like you can just leave. I mean, sometimes you have to make a plan. So again, that's, you know, you have right here the two of wands or the three of wands. What else is out there for you? Start looking at things like that. Start making a plan. Focus your energy into manifesting. And that is going to, uh, you know, start start making things happen the way you want. Because if you get stuck, ten of swords with the nine of swords with the devil, if you get stuck, you could be stuck here, okay? And and it's not like just magically things are going to change and then boom, you're, you're free. It's like you have to do the work here for that, to get away from that, right? So... Let me see this nine of swords. You have the nine of wands. So boundaries, you know, maybe there is uh, energies around you that take your energy. Uh, you know, maybe they dump a lot of stuff towards you. You know, they, they're telling you all your, their drama, but they don't care about what you're going through. Maybe they, you know, maybe you have a coworker that comes into work and just BSing about everything and, and they hate everything and everything and everything. And then all of a sudden you're stuck with that energy. So be mindful for that too. The people around you is that they're, they're projecting their energy onto you and then you're taking this energy. And especially if you're an empath, that happens often, right? So nine of wands, protect your boundaries here protect your energy and um and you know that's really what it is right there and you do have the fool right there so there is if you don't see it now for a lot of you guys because i feel i feel like i said that a few times here i feel like there's someone here i'm speaking to that just doesn't see that positive side of things and and, and i can feel in the energy that there is there it's just that once you realize uh you know reflect on yourself you know start looking start looking at yourself Flip it 180 and look at you and then start working on that. And I know that that does affect people too, triggers people, because to say to look on to yourself here, it's kind of like, well, there's nothing wrong with me. And, and, you know, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with you. I'm just saying that there's things here that you could do to improve your lifestyle that helps you move forward. And from experience, it's true. I had to look at myself and say, damn it. You know, and I still do this shit every day. I still have to look at myself and make sure I'm going on the right track. And if I don't, you know, I'm not hard on myself. I okay, fine. I you know have to move away from that and move towards this. I mean, it's just another reminder, and that's the way, um, that's the way life is, man. I mean, that's that's all I can tell you. And I do pick up, you know, especially if you're gonna be in this energy, this ten of swords, nine of swords, just stress and everything like that, and worry, especially with that devil energy. Um, keep your keep your eyes and open for um, you know synchronicities too, numbers. Uh, the universe does communicate with you with numbers here. So um, start learning numerology or look into it. Um, you know, do things like that to where it's going to help you guide you towards the future. Because I did that in my time frame and it was just like, it was wonderful because I even tried to play around. I was like looking at the clock and I was like every time, I, sometimes it would say 555 five, five all the time, right? And sometimes I'll just really fuck around and just be like, you know what, I'm going to see if I'm going to catch it. And if I don't catch it, maybe I'm just tripping and then boom, five, five, five again. So it never, it was always there. So, uh, you know, even when you drive, you can see the license plates, it'll say four, four, four or you, whatever it is. Even me and my coworker would just look at everything. We was like, damn, it's everywhere. Right. So it's, but the universe is sending messages. The angels, your guides are sending messages to help you out of this energy. So you're not alone. You know what I mean? So don't feel like you're alone. Don't feel like you're stuck in a situation. There is a path here for you. You just have to go within and start working on that. You know what I mean? So that's what I see. New beginning here for you. Collective, I'm going to stop right there. There's going to be another video here coming in Sunday. And um, yeah, we'll see what energies come out there on the full moon. All right. So like I say, if this video helped in any way, please do hit that like button. Let me get you guys an oracle though. And uh, we will close this out. Let's see here. We do have the bison, 35. Yeah, I was saying, I don't know which video I said this in, but um, the blue angels are flying over here in the Bay Area. So this morning was a nice wake up. They decided to kind of fly pretty this way. I was like, Oh, shit. And uh, yeah, didn't really need coffee after that one. All right. So it means ritual. It says live with authenticity. Authenticity. Come on, Neil. Live with authenticity. My goodness, people. Go ahead and laugh. That's fine. 
Uh, but you know what I'm talking about, and peace. Do not live how other people wish you to live. Your life is yours. Bringing the peace of ritual into our lives can heal us. Nourish yourself and develop habits that are beneficial and useful for you and your family. Okay, so hopefully that uh, that oracle helps you out as well. And hopefully you got a laugh at my reading. And you guys have a good one, and I'll see you guys in a couple of days.